Hello everybody, and welcome back to Certified Collectibles. Now, some of you may know this, others of you may not, but CGC, the Certified Guarantee Company, world-renowned for their comic book grading services, just announced last week that they're also going to start grading trading cards, specifically Magic the Gathering and Pokemon right now, but they're going to move into sports cards here a little bit later. Right now, though, Magic the Gathering and Pokemon are now going to be graded by CGC. Now, this is huge news for the industry. Up until now, there's only been two companies that graded the Magic the Gathering and Pokemon cards. Um, that was Beckett for the Magic the Gathering, uh, BGS, and PSA for the Pokemon. Both companies will grade either card, but the industry has kind of picked their favorites, and the Magic the Gathering kind of went to Beckett, BGS, and the Pokemon went to PSA. But now, they're CGC. So CGC is going to start grading Magic the Gathering and Pokemon cards at a substantially lower price than either one of those companies. I think the, the grading price is started around $8 a card. I think this is like a third or a quarter of what uh, Beckett or PSA charge for the same service. Not only that, but P uh, CGC also has the fractional grades. So whereas PSA moved from 9 to 10, now you're going to have a 9, 9.2, 9.4, 9.6, 9.8, and a 10.0 in CGC. It follows the exact same grading tiers as the comic books. So this opens up a world of opportunities for you guys that had Pokemon cards or, or Magic the Gathering cards that you thought were better than their grade. Let's say you got a 9 on a Pokemon card or Magic the Gathering and you thought it was closer to a 10. Now you can resubmit those to CGC. You know, it might come back a 9.8 which would substantially increase the value of these cards. So we think this is a great service to the collecting community. And given the price and the turnaround time of like three or four weeks, you know, this is long overdue for this industry. You know, the trading cards, sending them to Beckett or PSA, you know, we still have stuff there at PSA from February. We still haven't got it back and it's July. So the turnaround time is a little long for PSA or Beckett and the prices are, you know, that CGC is offering are very competitive and we just think they're going to take the industry by storm. There's going to be a lot of new material hitting the market that people just couldn't afford to grade or didn't want to try to cross over or didn't want to try to upgrade. Now they have the opportunity at a fraction of the cost. So we think this is going to be huge, huge for the community. But CGC did tell us about this program about three months ago before they released it to the public. So we have about a thousand cards with them right now. We got back one group that we're actually going to have unboxing today. It's going to be Magic the Gathering Unlimited series. Now, those of you not familiar with Magic the Gathering, the sets were released in Alpha, Beta, and then Unlimited. So Unlimited was the first Unlimited printing of the series. Alpha and Beta, of course, were more limited editions. So today we do have some Magic the Gathering Unlimited CGC graded cards we're going to show you guys. Now, these are fresh from CGC. We just got them back yesterday. We haven't opened them up yet. So this is going to be a surprise both for you and us to see what kind of grades we get and to actually take a look at the holders themselves. We have yet to see one of these holders in person, so we're really excited to take a look at what these look like. So let's go ahead and crack open one of these boxes. Now, given the weight of this, we think this is actually a pretty full box. So let's go ahead and cut into it and see some of these Magic the Gathering Unlimited Series trading cards graded by CGC. All right. As you can see, this is a pretty full box. I'm going to try to get these out without collapsing the box altogether. So what we may do is actually take these out like this and get a look at what we have. All right. Now these now these are cool. This is what they look like. Now this is a really cool holder. This is more or less just like the comic book holder, except for shrunken down. It's like the comic book holder had a, had a baby. Now on the back you have the, the label and the holographic authentication sticker. On the front you have the grade and the name of the card, the name of the series. And this actually has the subgrades listed on the label as well. So you can see the subgrades on this also. This one here is the Consecrate Land. Now this was the 1993, like I said, the 1993 Unlimited series. Now these, this, these are cool. This is, these are cool looking. So we have a nine, can't argue with that. Karma, we have a nine, Mint. Once again, two nines. You know, I'm gonna see if I can st stack some of these up here for you guys to look at. Okay. If they stay, we'll have a look. 
Karma. Here's another Karma. I think we sent in a few of these. It's an eight. Here we have another Karma and nine. Drain power. This is an eight. You know, could have been a better grade, but eight's fine. That's what I thought might happen, so we're going to go ahead and just stack these over here like this. Mana, a seven, a mana short. Pirate ship, 8.5. Counterspell, 6.5. Not so great of a grade. So, so far, mediocre. We had a couple nines to start out with, but then it kind of fell through a little bit. A 6.5 here on the reverse damage. Once again, eh, not so, not so great. But here we go, 9.5. This is what I was talking about with those fractional grades. Per, personal incarnation. Now this 9.5, getting pretty close to 10 on that one. Island Sanctuary, 8.5. These holders are so cool. A blessing. And nine. Blaze of Glory, 9.5. Now that's a great one. That's a good one. Sarah Angel, and 9.5. Righteousness, and eight. Northern Paladine, and eight. Once again, most of these grades are an eight, eight or nine, you know? We can't complain about this group. Veteran Bodyguard, once again, an eight. Swords to Plowshares, this is a nine. You know, the nines, most of these cards in, in nine, they're gonna be a decent value on these. 9.5 is definitely gonna drive, drive the price up. 7.5, the Animate Wall. Not such a great grade on that one. But we have, so far we have a lot of nines, 9.5, so we're happy with this. Here's a castle on 9.5, for instance. Another castle, I think we sent in quite a few castles, so we might have a little little group here. This is a nine. Pure Lace. Now this one here has seen some uh, interest as of late. We've seen prices on this one going up. This here's an 8.5. And it looks like here we have here a nine. I think we sent in a few of these. Actually, here's another one. Now this one here, not so good. It's eight. So this is the dog of the group. Black Ward. This here is an 8.5. Can't get over how cool these holders are. And sturdy. That's why I keep banging them on the table. Castle. Here's another castle. This is a 9.5. I think this is the second 9.5 we have for this. Oh, maybe it's the third because here's another 9.5. Lance, this is a nine. I, you know, I'm impressed with how many nines we got out of this group. This was a group that we just had laying around. We never really graded any of our unlimited cards. Like I mentioned before, just the price was a little restrictive. You know, you don't want to spend $30 grading a card that's worth about $100. But if you're spending $8 to grade a card that's worth $100, then, you know, then it's worth grading. Here's a Lance in nine. Another Lance in 9.5. Once again, like I said, the closer you get to 10, it's going to definitely increase the value of these. Another Lance and nine, I think. Yes. Another Lance and nine. Resurrection and eight. I think I can stack some of these up here. Another Resurrection. This is 9.5 Jim Mint. You know, like I said, these 9.5s, next best thing to a 10. We haven't seen any 9.6s or 9.8s yet, but they do exist. Just maybe not in this group. Here's a Resurrection and nine. Uh, 7.5. Not incredibly stunning with that grade. Here's a red ward in 8. Now this one here, once again, it's okay. Karma, 9.5. I don't think these cards want to stand up, so. Here's a green ward in 9.5. Once again, you know, 9.5s, best thing you get to a 10. Green ward in 9. These are cards someone probably would not have graded, you know, a year ago. But to get 9s or 9.5s out of these, it's worth grading at, at $8 a card. Here's a Green Warden 8. This one here. 
Not such a great grade, great grade, but we have some 9.5s and 9s in this. Here's another Green Warden 9, for instance. Like I said, we do have some multiples in some of these. It's just cards we had laying around. Farmstead, I think we have quite a few. Here's a 9. Here's a 9.5. We had more of those, but that's this is two. Here's a conversion in 9.5. Here's a conversion in nine. I think we have another 9.5 here, a conversion. And looks like that's where our streak ended because now it looks like we have an 8.5 in conversion. But once again, you know, like I said, can't complain about these grades at the price you're paying and how fast you get them back. Here's a black ward in 6.5. Now, that's probably the worst grade we've got out of this whole stack, so eh, I'll bury him back here so nobody sees him. Consecrate Land in 9. We've seen some interest in this one here recently as well. And here's an 8.5 Consecrate Land. So, you know, all these, all these I think, are well, were well worth sending in at the prices that we were able to pay. Uh, I think, wait a second, we do have a little bit. I think we have a few in this box. We're not done. Okay, let's take a look at what we have here. All right, yeah, there's just a few in this box. Let's go ahead and take the stack out here and see what we have without knocking anything over. All right, take a look at our last little stack. Wall of Swords in a nine. Blue Ward, I think we have a few Blue Wards. It's a seven. Oh, no, 6.5 is still our lowest grade, so 7 is getting close to being our lowest. Here's a blue ward in 9. Here's another blue ward in 9. And we have a blue ward in 7.5. So, kind of ran the gamut on those on those grades. Here's another red ward. This is a 9.5. Like I said, it's about as close as you can get to a 10. Here's a red ward in 9. Oh, here we go. Now, the, the White Knights have seen a surge in price recently, so we do have a few of these. This is a, as an 8. 8 is considered a near mint mint. Here is a gem mint 9.5 in the White Knight. Here's a mint 9. Oh, that's all of the White Knights, it looks like. So, we have a White Ward little group here. White Ward in 9, mint. And 8, near mint. 9.5. You always like to see the 9.5s pop up. And I think we got two little wall of swords here to, to wrap up our first submission to CGC. We have a, a 9 and an 8. You know, I'd say we're, we're pretty pleased with our first group that we sent to CGC. And the cases are super cool. You know, like I said, it's just like they're, just like they're comic cases. If you're familiar with the comic book grading, this is pretty much just like that. So it's like just a shrunken version of it. Super cool. So I say we're, we're pretty pleased with the grades we got. Now, we do have a whole group of Pokemon coming back. Like I said, we sent them about 1,000 cards over the last three months so they could prep them and help us get them to the market about the same time that they released the program. So we do have a lot of Pokemon coming in. So if you want to see some Pokemon unboxing, please remember to subscribe to the channel. Let us know what you think about this. Let us know what you think about the new CGC grading and our unboxing of the, of the Magic the Gathering cards. Please leave us some comments in the comment section below and give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Thank you for joining us here at Certified Collectibles and we'll see you again next time.